Betsy, mm -hmm. I, I'm going to tell you thank you. You're welcome. Because yesterday I told you that I thought it was the premier weather day of the year. And you said, it's not so fast, it's wait it's until tomorrow. <laughs> and somehow we topped it today. It was just beautiful. Oh Hasn't my it been gorgeous? goodness, yeah. gorgeous. This is the kind of weather that a lot of folks think of when they start to think of autumn. Usually you think of it yeah. a little bit later in September or maybe even early October, but don't worry. We still have some warm days to come. And this weekend is gonna be fantastic. Jay has been uh, a beaming, beaming, smiling Jay Crawford today <laughs> because he knows it's a three day weekend as a lot of people do and it is going to be a great weekend. This evening it's phenomenal. Temperatures are going to dip back into the 60s as the sun sets, but it is going to just be stellar, crystal clear and just very comfortable all in all. The humidity just about evaporated out of the area. That's not quite how it works, but uh, that being said, you get the point. Temperatures are in the low to mid 70s right now in northern Ohio. And look at Ashtabula already back into the 60s downwind of the lake. We we have seen a few more clouds throughout the day today, but the single most notable change is the humidity levels. Yesterday, we still had dew points, one of the measures of humidity, well into the 60s. That's still considered muggy. When you get into the 70s, that's ultra muggy. We even had a couple 70s on the board yesterday. Now we are in the 40s and 50s. This is very comfortable. A lot of folks don't necessarily look at the dew point. That's an absolute measure of humidity in the atmosphere. So they like to look at the relative humidity. This is how much moisture is in the air relative to how much moisture the air could hold at current conditions. So it's basically Basically, you have a glass. How full is your glass? Our glass is only 30 to 40 percent full at this point in some locations. Little uh, higher amounts of humidity closer to the lake. That's to be expected as that wind is coming out of the west. We have seen lots of sunshine today. Just a few puffy cumulus clouds, fair weather cumulus clouds. As Bob Ross would say, happy little clouds coming in off of the lake downwind uh, of uh, the lake. But you can see that off to the west, there are a few showers that are going on. We're not really too worried about those. Uh, the big pattern, though, for Labor Day weekend is one that kind of keeps it all the unsettled weather just to the north of us. But that's not where the story ends, okay? So once we get through tomorrow, which is going to be gorgeous, Sunday into Monday, now we're starting to see some changes. And you kind of have to go way up here into northern Canada to see those changes. I have the jet stream pattern in the colors, the rain and whatnot. I say whatnot because you know what's uh, up there. Uh, but you can see that kind of painted here too. Watch how this little batch of green starts to dive south right there on Sunday. That is a push of energy that's coming out of the north, so a little chunk of cold air aloft. And more importantly, it's going to start to pop up some showers late Sunday into our forecast. Look how that kind of gets into the region. And then into Monday, too. More notably, though, this thing really starts to unleash a huge chunk of cold air that's going to dive into the western parts of the Plain States. Our response to that initially will be that we will get much warmer, but then that cold air is going to be coming down our way by the time we get to the end of next week. Tomorrow, small craft advisory is posted for the Lake Erie near shore waters. Keep an eye out for that, small crafters. Uh, 70s for the day tomorrow. I think we're going to top out in the 70s across much of northern Ohio. Upper 70s to near 80 expected with the Universal Windows Direct forecast keeping us at 80 or so on Sunday. Late day rain chances, not all over the place, uh, but an isolated chance will be possible. Better chances for rain and storms will be coming as we go through Monday and then into Tuesday. Tuesday, here comes that push of heat, and then you can see the flip as the cooler air finally gets here from northern Canada. Jay, all in all, the weekend, definitely not a washout, and we're just going to keep an eye on it. No, looks good to me. Betsy, thank you.